What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a new video that I never really thought that I'd have to um, make um, and it's 11.18 and um, I am just now filming a video and um, it's 11.18 on a Sunday night. Luckily though, um, this whole coronavirus thing has my school shut down for the next week. Um, so I will not be going to school until Monday, March 30th, or no, March 23rd. Yeah, Monday, March 23rd, um, and that's really wonderful, but like I had all my makeup set out and everything ready to go, but I just got off of FaceTime a couple minutes ago with my literal best friend, um, who's also part of the LGBTQ plus community as well, um, she is transitioning from male to female in the middle of her transitioning um and she's receiving a whole lot of transphobic comments and um this is a reoccurring thing you know every night it's something new and um every night she is facetiming me and she's you know getting you know getting fired up and we're both getting fired up because me not being transgender you know i don't know what it must feel like to have these transphobic comments, but me being a part of the LGBTQ plus community, I have gotten a lot of comments when I'm wearing makeup. Um, a lot of people feel the need to comment on my makeup on, you know, I shouldn't be wearing that. Now, 99.9% .9 of the time, it is a lot of females coming up to me, a lot of girls that are coming up to me and they're like, your makeup looks wonderful, I love your makeup, like, your makeup is beautiful, you look beautiful, and I'm like, oh, thank you, um, but, you know, again, just kind of, yeah, so that's what we're gonna talk about in this video, so stay tuned. So, um, to kind of start with this video, um, I kind of want to just give, like, a backstory to pretty much, because it's not just these transphobic comments, I mean, there's a whole lot that's happening, so... To start off with, um, a lot of guys are adding her on Snapchat and, you know, they want nudes or they want some sexual relation and not even just to transgender girls and not even honestly just to females, but if you are asking anyone for unsolicited nudes and especially if you are not 16, if you are not 18 years of age, you need to not be doing that, and especially if the person that you are asking is not 18 years of age. That is called a crime. That is child pornography. You will get charged with that. Just letting you know. <laughs> but just unsolicited, you know, nudes. Um, a lot of guys add her on Snapchat and just ask for unsolicited nudes and everything like that. And her Snapchat profile is as her. It's a her as a woman, you know. It's her as herself being the transgender woman that she is and she is phenomenal and I literally love her and it's just sorry I'm moving my makeup brushes <laughs> um but it's just you know it's like why add somebody on snapchat if you're just gonna hate on them and you know just asking anybody from for nudes is not okay whatsoever don't do it ever period and you know just like guys like do you think that that's attractive like do you think that girls think that that's attractive not even transgender girls and just like even guys like me as a gay male like I know for a fact that I would not want somebody to be hitting me up and like asking for nudes or asking for this that or the other that just personally makes me feel very uncomfortable and I will block report and delete you from the, like I will like point blank period I'm gonna do it and it's just, like, not okay. But, yeah. So, that whole nude situation is happening. Um, and then, eventually, so, the situation that kind of happened tonight, um, somebody added her on Snapchat, and they wanted to have sexual favors done for them, or whatever. And they were talking very sexually to her. And she was like, no, this is not okay. Like, I'm not dealing with this. Like, I'm not putting up with this. Like, what the fuck do you want? You know? And this then come, he that this guy then comes to find out that she is a transgender woman. And she tell or he tells her that, you know, 
she he calls her a faggot. He tells her that he's going to um, beat her up and stuff. And it's like, why are you saying this? Like, you're the one that added me, first off. Like, you added her because of what reason? Like, there was no reason to. Right? Right. Like, you added her to be transphobic. And, like, just, it's not even, like, being trans, like, it's just, like, being a decent human being. Like, being a decent human being, you shouldn't, like, put transphobic comments out there if you think, like, gays should burn in hell or, you know, transgender women. First off, let's go to this whole quote thing. I, there, you know, people say transgender women are women and transgender men are men. And I love that because that's exactly how it should be seen as. And you know what? If it's not your life, somebody being transgender does not affect you at all. Point blank, period. Just like me wearing makeup, it doesn't affect your life at all. So you don't have to sit there and say, you know, you're a faggot or, you know, you're this or that. It, you know, you don't, you don't have to. You don't have to sit there and put in your comments when they're not asked for. You're, yeah, you are entitled to your own opinion. And I, you know, um, anybody who knows me in real life, not videos, um, they know that I am very opinionated and I love uh, free speech. Um, I'm definitely somebody that will say whatever the fuck is on my mind and I don't care. But with that being said, you know, great, have your opinions, say what you want to say. But there is one thing that I will always never, never, never say. And that is, you know, if I see, I will never say racist comments. I will never judge somebody for the way that they are. You know, if I see somebody that's homeless on the street, you know, if I don't have any cash on me, I won't be able to give them anything. But, you know, if I had cash on me, I would totally give them some. Even if they're faking or whatever, you know, okay, whatever. So what? You know, that's just how I was raised growing up. It was you help people who are asking for help and you just, you give human decency. You know, you help where you can help, if you can help. And then you give people human decency. You're you're kind. You're respectful. You know, it, even like simply opening up the door for somebody, just you know, simple acts like that just make somebody's day much better. And you just you don't have to go hating on somebody, you know. And it's just so like annoying that people think that like you have to hate on somebody. Like what? And I mean, like we live in the Midwest, so like that might be a little bit different. Um, but like, you know, it's just, it's so annoying and it's so honestly disgusting that people are disgusted by trans women or trans men, just trans people in general, that people are just disgusted by the LGBTQ plus community in the year 2020. I mean, and this is something that the entire LGBTQ plus community has been saying for years. I mean, back in 2013, it was like, this is disgusting. Why are we seeing these hateful, you know, transphobic or, you know, these hateful comments towards the LGBTQ plus community. And then, you know, coming from 2014, 2015, 2016, and 2017, 2018, and even to 2019, you know, we're all just like, we're sick of it. You know, we should just be able to live with one another, with one another. Just like, you know, I got bullied because I liked a straight guy. You know, and um, before y'all in the comments start saying, oh, James Charles, you know, this, that, or the other, you know, it's very normal for a gay person to like a straight person. It is very normal. Um, given the fact that I am gay and I am attracted to males, I'm going to like a male. Now, you know, we all have our types, just like straight people have their types. Gay people also have types as well. So that doesn't mean that, you know, I want to fuck anything with a dick. Um, you know, I want to suck a dick, just anybody's dick. No. You know, I have my type, and that's unfortunately um, the type that I like usually involves a lot of straight guys. Now, the type that I like is more, you know, masculine, taller, and that's just me. Unfortunately, that is not what you see a whole lot. Especially in the Midwest, you will see a whole lot of the tall, masculine guys in with the straight crowd. And that's, you know what, perfectly fine. If you, you know, if I have a crush on you, if I, you know, like you or whatever, and I, you know, say, hey, I like you or whatever, 
All you have to say is, you know what, I'm sorry, I'm straight, and we can leave it at that. We either don't have to speak to each other ever again, or we can be friends. Either one works, you know. And actually, one of my most amazing friends who is straight, that's what happened with me and him, you know. At the beginning of last year, I, you know, fell for him so much. Like, I had this big crush on him. And then, you know what, he turned out to be straight like I thought he would. And, you know what, we're still friends to this day. And uh, he leaves for Marine Corps boot camp in, <laughs> what, three months? So, you know, and I'm very excited to see him go through boot camp and just go through another chapter and phase in his life. And it's just, you know, it's so amazing. And it's just like, but again, you know, we can stop with this hate and everything like that. It's the end of this video. Um, make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did enjoy. Make sure to subscribe. If you are not, make sure to per make sure to click the bell for that post notification to be notified every time that I upload. Um, make sure to click over here if you would like to see my last video um, where it turns out that my camera white balance wasn't set correctly and I can't match my foundation. So um, make sure to stay tuned for any more makeup videos and just anything else. All right, see you guys later. Bye. Shit.